is, did you think BLM could get any cringier? Do you think they could get any more annoying? Was it possible? Is it possible? Just hold, hold on. I think they've done it. Black Lives Matter blockades, thousands inside I-99 tunnel in Seattle. Vows every day until their demands are met, which includes charging Mayor Durkin, Jenny Durkin, with genocide. <laughs> this video is, is so surreal. <laughs> This man, this man, this, this, this is the man, <laughs> I feel for you so bad, sir. <laughs> I am sorry that we have failed the youth of today. I don't know why you can blame MTV. Maybe they had a point. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't, <laughs> it probably is MTV's fault a little bit, but what the fuck is this? This happened a day ago. I hope everybody in, involved in this gets arrested and charged with a felony of some sort, something. The fuck, if this was Florida in March next year, this would be a felony. How are people allowed to do this? Do you know how claustrophobic it would be to be trapped in a tunnel that long? I try to hold my breath whenever I drive through tunnels. Imagine playing that game this time. I can imagine that conversation going something like this. Hey, uh, what's going on here? What's this all about? You don't understand! We've got to do this for Jenny Durkin! Durkin for genocide! We want our demands met! Uh, okay, uh, I have nothing to do with that. Is it okay if I drive through? <laughs> this guy is a piece of shit. Pieces of shit. Piece of shit. The person holding the camera, piece of shit. The worst human beings, literally the worst types of Americans. Like you take, you embody everything that makes America great as in, you know, you're expressing yourself, you know, you're, you're bold, you're proud, you, you have all this freedom to do this, but then you're combining all of that with literally the worst parts of all of humanity. You're arrogant, you're a douche, you're being incredibly rude, inconsiderate, illogical. You're affecting a bunch of people's lives who had nothing to do with whatever the fuck your perceived grievances are. Ugh. Is he... Is he wearing goggles? What the fuck is wrong with these people? I'm sorry, sir. I'm just a big piece of shit. I'm not going to get out of the way because uh, I'm just trying to get a viral clip. I love how this guy happened to be wearing an American flag tank top. It lets all these people know he's probably not on their side. Your parents should be so ashamed of you. Just what the fuck? Like, dude, I'm not a parent. I'm I'm barely, like, not even a kid anymore. And I'm ashamed of you. What the fuck is juice? Okay, so we're gonna get you can yell at me. I'm gonna yell at you. How about that? Right? You're gonna yell at us? We're gonna yell at you. Okay? That's great. Do that, right? But you don't get to hold up thousands of people. Yeah, we do. Okay? Yeah, we do. We do. We're gonna hold up that. <laughs> we're gonna yell at you. Okay? Here. What are you gonna do? Bring something. Bring something. Bring this guy is just waiting for that swing. This guy's probably not the best spokesperson for all the thousands of people in the tunnel. But, you know, I can't, I can't blame him for being very frustrated. Black Lives Matter, you want to swing on me because of that? That's honestly a good point. (laughs) 
This is bullshit. This is bullshit. In fact, I think I'm gonna need I'm gonna need everybody, and I, I can't do it because I, I wouldn't even call on anyone in my own community to, to even Steve. God, no, I don't want to fall into the slippage of the division. But I am saying the black community should stand up and be like, "Yo, everybody doing this nonsense needs to stop." You are making everybody look bad. All of humanity. You're making America look bad. Because like, that's why I, I was going to say, I'm not going to do this. I'm not, I wouldn't even speak up from, for the white community. That's not my community. My community is the American community. It includes all people, all races. I, I like to, I'll, I'll say that I'm a part of the, uh, the non-douche community. The non-rude asshole community. I think we should stand up. But I mean, honestly, man, I just get so frustrated. I wish I could articulate words better to describe how these people suck. I mean, I, w I wish there was words that I could actually put together that would convince people who are thinking about doing this to not do this. But I don't know if, I don't know if that's my battle to fight. I don't think so. There's a trans flag. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You need to get back to basics to Mother Earth? Then get the fuck out of the highway. What are you talking about? This is the wrong place. Piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Wow, you need to all go to jail? No, in fact, before you go to jail, I want you guys to all get an all expenses paid ticket to go travel the world, go have fun in a socialist country, see what it's really like, come back, then go to an American jail, and then you can look at the American society. I want you to have a window spot in your jail cell so you can see how good you had it. These are all children without coming of age rituals. There's, they're lacking that in their, in their lives and they think this is it. They think this is how they will become adults. And then, like all this dumb bullshit, when they get bored of it themselves, they'll leave. It should be illegal. I'm surprised it's not. Maybe it is illegal. I think maybe the issue is, is that none of these mayors, Jenny Durkin, that they're protesting against, she won't even arrest them. She won't do shit against them. Our city is offering more opportunities for community to safely come together. Shut the fuck up about COVID. Nobody gives a fuck about that right now. You have a whole rogue group of illiterate children coming into... Oh my gosh. This is why we need to get involved in our local politics. Because people like this are too busy virtue signaling to do their motherfucking jobs. We got another clip of it. He just hit me. He just hit me. I'm surprised you don't get run over. I'm surprised. I'm not advocating for it. I'm just surprised. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. I'm going to be a hero. You're not a hero. You're a thug. You saw fucking too many Marvel movies, man.
Oh, uh, now we're having some inner inner turmoil over what to do about this situation. You, you XXX looking motherfucker. <laughs> Black to this. I'm like whack to this. You're fucking whack. Uh, you, you should all go to jail. I don't know what you guys want. I, I, are you trying to push for some sort of civil war of some sort? You would lose in a heartbeat. The revolutionaries will not last more than a month. If it if push came to shove, you would lose that battle. You would lose that war. What do you? What else do you want? Well, <laughs> it wouldn't even need to get to that because. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be optimistic, but you guys are so awful. You're just the worst types of humanity. This is, I don't, this is why I don't drive. I don't like going places. I'll walk places. Don't put me in a tunnel with all this nonsense. <sighs> this is all we need though. We don't need to get carried away. We don't need to wish them all this hate. Even though it would be so easy to. It would be so easy because that's almost what they're doing. It's like their their attitude, you know, attitudes are contagious and their attitude reeks. So it's 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 almost it's pouring on me through this fucking video of it. It's, it's awful. But I don't want to stoop to their level. I want to give them every opportunity to rise to the occasion and not ever do this again and tell everybody else who ever would want to do this again that hey, that was actually a bad idea. We fucked up. And you know if some of the people there maybe they can get away with it and they'll learn the lesson that kid who jumped on the guy you need to go to jail sir you need to get the fuck out of here you guys need fucking slaps community service you guys need to go clean up the chop how about that you can go clean up that stupid fucking garden god gosh darn it golly gb gobbers ah i hate you i hate you people it has nothing to do with your race. It has nothing to do with with your culture. I mean, it has everything to do with your culture. Your culture sucks. I don't want your culture. Nobody wants your culture here. Go move to an island. Go buy the island next to Epstein and Biden Island and then start your little weird cult there. But get the fuck out of America. You are the worst, most embarrassing part of America. Remember Kentucky used to have that? Remember we also used to make fun of white trash all the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, white trash. So terrible. Now where's white trash on the pillar pole? They're a little bit higher up, huh? <laughs> uh, no offense to white trash or not. No offense to Kentucky. I think Kentucky gets a bad rap. Kentucky's awesome. I've been, I've been to Kentucky. It's beautiful. Richmond, all those places. There's lots of cool places in Kentucky. I'm just saying that there's a stereotype in America of that was the worst part of America. But now we have the new champion. The meta has changed. These are now the worst parts of America. The worst people in America are these children like this like that guy like the dude who jumped on that dude you are the worst people in america this guy right here you're the worst you're almost it's weird because it's it's just a bunch of children who are uneducated they lack logic they lack positive male and female role models in their lives and they're easily manipulated and susceptible to leaders coming in and, t and telling them that they can be revolutionaries it's almost like the fucking manson family it's a modern day version of that at a weird, crazy scale because we have social media now. Don't like, don't want, get the fuck out. So that wraps this up. I hate this. I hate it. All right, hold on. Let me get some eye bleach. So let me look at some fucking cute puppies. Cute puppies with animals. Because I like it when there's like different species. Let me look at some. What have we got here? Yeah, ah, the ugly dog. Ah. Yeah, ah. Who wants all of these children to go home? I do. Ah, oh, yeah, you do. Oh, look at this puppy. I always wonder how these dogs can see, but maybe they wonder how I can see with my. We're not so different, Shizu. On the 2020 calendar, damn, you made the cover. Golden Retriever puppies? <laughs> uh, uh, so, oh my god. Oh, they're gonna hit all of his brothers and sisters. Ah! Oh, put a cat. Is that a dog? Is that a cat? 
Baby white. Is it? Is this a dog? Wow. Look at the little bows. Okay, I feel better. I feel a lot better. Yeah, if you ever get caught up in that nonsense, just get yourself some uh, blue eyes. Just get yourself some puppies. <laughs> uh, how how you can't your day can't be ruined if you got something like this to see. All right, yeah, I'm calm down now. I digress. Uh, don't do that. Don't go to the highways. Don't block the traffic. Oh, we need federal laws that say you can't block traffic anymore. I don't know if there aren't. I'm surprised. I would be surprised if there weren't. I'm not a lawyer. But damn. Ugh. I need another puppy. One, one more puppy. Oh, you. You little rup scallion, you. Ugh, okay. Yeah. So uh, take everything here with a grain of salt. Be a good person. Stay vigilant. Uh, call your mom. Don't go into the highway. It makes your entire movement invalidated. Isn't that weird? It's like we have a movement, but to push our movement, metaphorically speaking, we have to stop everybody else from actually moving. Just obnoxious. Peace.